Hello and welcome. This instructional video will show you how to calibrate your Decagon 5TE soil moisture probes with the soil you'll be using them in. Shown here is a list of items you will need to complete your calibration. Shown now is a link and the paper to the official calibration on Decagon's website. Be sure to print this out before you begin. Begin by spreading the soil over a thin layer and letting it air dry. Be sure to break up large chunks of soil and remove large objects from the soil while keeping the original composition intact. Next, weigh the volumetric soil samplers and the soil drying containers, including the lid weight. You will also need to find the volume of the soil sampler and the calibration container. Be sure to record these weights and volumes in your notebook for later use. Now, fill your calibration container with soil. The container should be big enough to accommodate the full length of the sensor plus a few centimeters beyond the ends of the prongs and the cable. Make sure to measure the volume of soil in the container. Be sure to add the soil in layers and pack down each layer at approximately field density. Next, insert the sensor into the soil. Make sure the sensor is fully inserted into the soil, including the black plastic part. Ensure that the sensor is surrounded by continuous soil for a radius of 5 cm from the sensing portion. Once fully inserted, the volumetric water content and electrical conductivity can be recorded. While the sensor is still in the soil, insert the volumetric soil sampler and take a core sample. With the relatively dry soil, I use the lid to help me remove the volumetric soil sampler. After the sample is taken, place the core sample into the drying container. Take the weight of the soil and drying container and record it in a notebook for later use. After weighing it, place the lid on the drying container to prevent any further moisture loss. The next step is to wet the soil. Place the soil into a mixing container. Add a half milliliter of water for every 10 milliliters of soil volume. Once the water is added, the soil must be mixed until it is homogeneous. Once the soil has been thoroughly mixed, it can be put back into the calibration container at field density. Shown now are the overall steps to the calibration procedure. Repeat this process until the soil reaches saturation. Once you've taken four or five different samples, you are ready to begin drying the soils. Place the soil samples without lids into an oven. Note that soils with high organic matter content may lose organics if dried at 105 degrees Celsius, leading to error in calibration. Dry these soils at 60 to 70 degrees Celsius for 48 hours. Once the samples are dry, replace the lids, label each sample, and record their respective weights. When finished, your data table will look something like this. You will have all the sample numbers, the volumetric water content, the electrical conductivity, mass of the wet and dry soil, and the sample volume. You will also need to make sure you have the weight of the volumetric soil sampler, the dry container, and the lid.